Okay, let's uh, do this uh, problem with uh, to get a little bit of practice with writing electronic configurations. Okay, it says to write the detailed electronic configuration for each of the following. When it says detailed electronic configuration, it's uh, referring to uh, not using the noble gas um, abbreviation. Okay, so I have those uh, written. Here, and um, I'm going to use the periodic table here as a reference. So the first element is germanium, and germanium is number 32, and um, that means we have 32 electrons. Okay, so we can. Um, the, the easiest way to do these kind of problems is to simply follow the periodic table, right? So we're just kind of working our way through. We have 1s2 uh, for hydrogen and helium on the other side, and then 2s2, then we're going to have 2p6, then we go to 3s2, then 3p6, we're just kind of walking our way through, uh, 4s2, and then here we get into the d group, um, but here's the thing, this is actually 3d, okay, you'll remember the n plus l rule, we have 4 plus 0, because this is n equals 4, and s is when l equals 0, so 4 plus 0 and then comes 3 plus 2. 3 n equals 3, but uh, L equals 2 for D. So this one's offset just a little bit. 4 S and then down to 3 D. Um, and then we go back to 4 P 2. Okay? So we can just follow that sequence and we'll have... Um, let's see if I can do this. We have for germanium 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, um, then we go 4s2, 3d10, and then back up to 4p2, okay? So that gets us up to germanium, all right? Now this is where, um, as I mentioned in another video, um, sometimes you'll see these combined, those uh, twos, it'll just be 1s2, 2s2p6, 3s2p6, 4 uh, and then sometimes they'll take the all the threes and put them together, and so they rearrange the order a little bit. It it's uh, still each uh, each subshell four p three d has the specific number of electrons, but they may take the three d ten and put it over here with the other um, electrons in the three n equals three shell. Okay, so they would say maybe 3s2p6d10 and then go 4s2p2. So don't worry about that. It's the same thing. The arrangement of the um, configuration is uh, not important. The important part is that you have the right number of electrons in the given uh, subshell. Okay. Uh, so let's go on to mang manganese, uh, not to be confused with magnesium. We have uh, manganese and magnesium. Um, this has 25 electrons in a neutral atom of manganese. And so, um, again, we can just walk through the periodic table. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6... 3s2, 3p6, 
4s2, and now we get to the, again, 3, 3d5, okay? So if we write that out, it's uh, pretty much the same as uh, what I have written up here, except um, we go up only to 3d5. Okay. Now nitrogen is a light element, so that one will be easier. 1s, 2, 2s, 2, and then 2p, 3. Okay. That's all that's there, that one. And I'm going to go ahead and write it in the other format. 1s, 2, 2s, 2p, 3. Okay. So that's kind of how it would uh, possibly look. All right, now bromine is over here. We have 35 electrons in a bromine atom. Um, so that's going to look just like the germanium, except with five electrons in that uh, 4p or uh, subshell. Okay, so. Um, and here I'll give an example of what that might look like um, also. Um, let's see if I can get this on a solid surface. 1s2, 2s2p6, and then 3s2p6. And then you might see something like this, where you have the D10, and then 4S2P, and then for bromine it would be P5. Okay, so this is the same configuration, but it's in a slightly different um, uh, format. But we have the same number of electrons in each of those um, subshells. Okay two electrons in the 3s, six electrons in the 3p, ten electrons in the 3d. So uh, whether we write it in the order that the electrons are filled from lowest energy to highest energy, that's how I normally do it, or we write it um, in uh, order of increasing uh, level, energy level, um, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't make a difference as far as the um, validity of that configuration. It's just the same thing. It's just saying it um, in a slightly different way. Okay, and then for iron, Fe, uh, here it is, right after manganese. So it's going to look just like manganese, except uh, 3D6. You'd have a 6 there. I'll go ahead and, and write it out just... Uh, for the sake of it, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, and then this would be 3d6. Okay, and again, we can combine them like I did there, but uh, this is the way I normally do it, so I'm in the habit of doing that, and uh, I'll just stick with that for that one. Okay.